Hi, I'm Dan Smith Broad, founder of the We Get Around Network Forum. I'm in Tokyo today, second day of Google Street View Summit, and I'm visiting with Charles Armstrong, product manager for Google Street View. Uh, Charles, awesome summit. Thanks, Dan. Uh, take, take us through the big picture. Sure, so uh, we announced four different certification standards here at the summit. Street View Auto Ready, Street View Mobile Ready, Street View VR Ready, and Street View Workflow Ready. Um, and uh, the key takeaway here is that we're looking at simplifying the workflows while still providing more and more um, tailored tools for pros that want to uh, deliver a more immersive experience. Uh, in the end, we want the tools to not get in the way of great storytelling at scale. Uh, and so each of those standards try to serve that cause to one end or another. Um, I think the really exciting thing here, the takeaway that a lot of us are seeing from this event is that the future is approaching a lot faster than a lot of people have given it credit for. Uh, Street View is a brand, but it's also more of a concept and idea. It's a, it stands for increasingly this idea that we'll be able to map the world's surface um, at a high degree of fidelity and a rapid cadence um, anywhere and everywhere that's publicly accessible. And the, the type of you know, conversations that are happening here around the summit are really awe-inspiring because it's showing really, really new channels for how we can improve human, human life, open up new channels for commerce, education, as a result of having this intimate understanding of the world's surface uh, that's so available. So things like saving lives, you don't get any bigger than that, improving education across the globe, uh, really, really powerful themes. Uh, take, take us through, if you don't mind, each, each of those four major initiatives okay, for, for sure. Google Street View. So Workflow Ready acknowledges that a lot of these products uh, uh, may have various means of collecting imagery, but they, in many cases, do want to be channeled through desktop uh, publishing utilities. Whether that's because you want to modify geometry or add connections, blur faces, whatever that might be. So with Workflow Ready, we're saying there are certain standards to adhere to uh, where products can leverage the Street View Publish API to deliver a, 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 a reliable user experience in terms of publishing that content to Street View. Reliable ex reliably met expectations. Uh, Street View uh, Mobile Ready uh, requires that uh, any 4K capable 360 camera uh, or greater can publish, can capture, uh, process, and publish imagery all on site in mobile without having to go back to a computer. So this is really for those folks that want to share a moment in the moment and not have to worry about post-processing it later necessarily. It's also good for professionals. We've seen some very high-end cameras on that front uh, that, that really lend credence to this notion that DSLR workflows will always have a place, but they, they're not necessary for, for professionals any longer. VR ready, uh, we, we have yet to actually get into here at the summit, uh, but the notion is that you can convey geometry alongside pixels so that you deliver a more realistic street view experience. We call it 2.5D. Uh, we're not delivering stereo, uh, but we do use this enhanced geometry to support the, the, uh, the pixels that are collected in 360 photos so that you get a more realistic trans, uh, 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 what do we call it, translation from image to image as you move sideways. Um, that, that uh, geometry comes through to give you a more realistic sense of parallax. Uh, and so we think that's really going to continue to support professionals who want to deliver that highest degree of immersion. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really kind of central to all of this is the more we can break down the walls of, of uh, separation between people that are trying to consume an experience and storytellers or, or merchants that want to convey what it's like to be in a place, uh, the more you can foster that, that confidence in decision making, that enthusiasm into light, these are important things. And finally, we have the, the Street View Auto Ready, uh, which is a standard specifically designed for cameras that can capture uh, at at least 15 megapixels at at least 5 frames per second with high quality IMU and GPS system uh, synchronization for, uh, for a stable clock, uh, a good antenna design. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty robust standard, but it essentially allows you to have your own Street View car. Uh, and in many markets where Street View is becoming woefully outdated, in markets where it doesn't exist at all, in markets where professional photographers want to be able to leverage uh, local Street View and potentially add their own branding to the bottom and say, hey, I can also shoot your indoor space. We're, we're kind of a local authority on Street View. This opens up new channels and opportunities there as well. With cameras that are you know, up to 60 megapixels at five frames per second for $2,200, Pretty awesome. Yeah, I think one of my takeaways here, uh, I, I lost count, maybe 16, 17, 18 different companies uh, presenting uh, uh, and new cameras with more 
of what might be considered better, whatever those features yeah. are, yeah. for a much lower price. Yeah, yeah, and it's, uh, I mean, this event's not just for the, 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 the manufacturers, the, the content contributors, it's also for Google. You know, I mean, it is it is hard for us to stay out in front of an industry that, that MIT has recognized this year as one of the 10 breakthrough technologies of the year. Uh, it is it is advancing so quickly. I was hearing from some people just 10 minutes ago that, that the first announcement in AutoReady, they were like, oh my goodness, we have to buy this camera. And then the second announcement, they were like, no, wait, we got to get that one. And then the third one, they were like, that's the camera we got to get. And then the fourth yeah. one, they were just like, it just keeps getting better. Yeah, I... I, I uh... I actually tingle when you say that because I, I, it was like, oh my God, this is like so overwhelming yeah. that for a camera that was announced, uh, let's say, I think uh, well over a year ago at $60,000, the equivalent camera now seems like it's, two grand. Five, it's yeah. you know, two, two, two grand, five, you know, a lot of cameras announced here for yeah. under five grand yeah. that have the functionality yeah. of what a, another camera not that long ago was announced at, at a $60,000 price point. So, uh, do you want to speak to democratization? That's, that was the word to use. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the big revolution in, in our industry in the past uh, three years since since we started really changing Street View was to democratize. Uh, it serves Google's interests because we can't do it ourselves, but it really serves these industries that have more intimate understanding of you know what what the community needs, what the business opportunity is, how you can impact lives, you know, saving lives. These these types of things where. As, as big and grand as Google is, we just don't have any ability to, to, to understand the world's opportunities at that scale. Um, and so to be able to open up this powerful technology and make it so accessible is awe-inspiring. And when you, what, what we have to do continually is take a step back and say, what is the world going to be capable of in five years at this trajectory, right? We can't keep thinking, oh my goodness, it's all brand new and amazing today. We, we need to get out in front of this because the potential is is really tremendous. As you know, the We Get Around Network forum communities is made up of many professionals. Uh, and so there's this uh, perhaps somewhat of an angst if I've invested five or $10,000 in camera gear and yeah. accessories, yeah. and now here we have cameras for under $500 that, that do something yeah. quite remarkable. Yeah. Can you can you speak to why the democratization and the, and the price coming down is actually good for professional photographers? I can speak to both sides of it. As, as a guy that bought the first Sony Bravia XBR TV for $6,000 and then a year and a half later the same TV was basically available for $1,000. That was really painful. Very similar dynamic happening in the camera industry today. Um, but, uh, but but look where we are, right? These, these capabilities are so advanced now that we can't sit here and continue to look back because the reality is it'll be this way still for the next couple of years. These, these prices are going to continue to drop. The capability are going to continue and increase. We need to get in and understand it now. The, the, new, the new field of view frame reference is 360 degrees. It's not 120 or 90 anymore. Yeah, I, I mean, one thing, and last thought, because I know you, you probably need to get going with part two of uh, the afternoon I probably here. probably do. So, um, but I, I, I think when, you um, lost my train of thought there for a second, was, um, uh, I, and I actually may have lost it. When you, when you, uh, I, you know, I was thinking about democratization and the price coming down because photographers are thinking, oh my gosh, now I'm going to be competing with everyone that has a point and shoot, yeah. with, you know, low, low price 360. Yeah. So is there any inspiration that you can offer about why having, I, 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 I guess actually the point. I do. I, I yeah, have, yeah, I have a, yeah. uh, uh, an opinion on this one. Um, everybody has a powerful camera in their pocket these days. Right, but the professional flat photo industry, take 360 out of it, is not suffering. There continues to be a great market for, pe for professionals that that understand the industry. Uh, you know, just just looking back 10 years, there 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 is no there is no lack of of uh, opportunity now for those folks that are more more capable with with better equipment and better more skilled eyes. Uh, to think that 360 photography is any different is, in my opinion, kind of naive. Uh, the, the industry will continue to grow, there will continue, 360 will become a common part of the vernacular, and that's actually only going to continue to foster more opportunities for professionals to be recognized. Yeah, I actually was surprised to hear you talk a, a number of times that, that the world is still just learning about 360 degree photography. Yeah. 
So we get it, right? We understand that it exists, and we think Street View, and I think that's why we leverage the Street View brand here. Yeah. But, but the world is just starting to wake up to just how powerful this is. And I don't think anybody inside Google, outside of Google, fully appreciates the impact this is going to have on the medical industry, the education industry, insurance, and sales, and so many other things when you start to have this intimate understanding of the world. Yeah, so very exciting. I've been, uh, I've been visiting with Charles Armstrong, product manager for Google Street View, uh, here in Tokyo on day two of the Google Street View Summit. Uh, Charles, thanks so much. Thanks a lot, Dan. And uh, you've been watching WGAN-TV. Thank you, Charles. Bye.